Okay, so we're, uh, we're just going to run through a really quick uh, milling operation and setting up a CNC file. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, I was going to go ahead and create a shape that could be CNC'd. Um, and uh, I'm going to create something really simple. So I'm just going to use a center rectangle to create a sketch, uh, which is essentially the stock or the material that I'm cutting it out of. And I'm going to make this four inches by four inches. And then I am going to add some text to it. And I'm just going to put my initials. So I'm going to drop the text in here and uh, create the box. And just type in my initials. And I'm going to, after I do that, change the, uh, the text size so it takes up a reasonable amount of that space. So let's try three. It's a little bit big. So let's make it a little tiny bit smaller. That's good. And then you can play around with the fonts. Um, so right now it's set to Arial, um, but it doesn't have to be. You can kind of go in here and take, take a look at some different things. Uh, I am going to leave it at Arial Black to get these nice chunky letters. Change it to two. Um, and uh, that should be it for that. Now I'm just going to play around with it and just center it real quick. I need to take these constraints out, so I don't want it on that diagonal line, so I'm going to remove that right there, and I'm going to remove that one right there, and then I should be able to drag it around anywhere where I need to get it, and, uh, and that's good. So I am going to finish the sketch and uh, you know, just take a look at it isometrically. Pretty nice. Um, and uh, I'm going to modify it. I'm going to make the stock by taking the large square, pressing it down. I don't know, you can make it about, I don't know, let's see, 0.3 inches down. Hit OK to create the stock. Um, and then I'm going to turn it back on and I'm going to emboss my initials in the stock by selecting this and pushing that down a little bit, cutting into the stock. I don't know, about 0.2 is fine and uh, turn that back off. And what you should see is uh, your initials if you're following along. So mine are right here, JL. Um, it's all this stainless material, the default material, so it doesn't show up very well unless you're hovering over something. Now we're gonna go into the manufacturer setup. So once you're in the manufacturer, um, there's a couple things you need to do, at least initially. One of the first things you need to do um, is set up your post library. And this is uh, specific to the type of machine that you're using. And so we're using a Stepcraft um, and we want UCCNC, so we're going to select that and make sure that that's part of our post library. Um, and then we need to create a new setup. And this is where you tell Fusion about the material and the machine. Select the machine. And uh, for the machine, we're going to use a generic three axis, just an Autodesk machine, very basic. Click select. Make sure your axes are correct. Z should be up, and then you have your X and your Y. Um, and we need to make one more change in here for our machine. We want to change the uh, home position on the Z to minus 10 millimeters. It's somehow it, it trips our limit switch if we leave it at zero. And I can see my stock. And so we have these multiple stock points here. Uh, we're not going to worry about anything else just yet. So we're going to leave this menu. And so now we have our setup. And then now we need to uh, create the operation that's actually going to go ahead and cut this out. And for this, we're going to use a 2D pocket command. And we're going to select these bottom pieces. And uh, there's a lot of settings in here. Most of it we're going to leave um, as the way it is. We're going to go into Tool. And uh, we're just going to select um, a sample tool that is part of Fusion. And uh, the one that we're going to select is a 1 8 inch flat end mill. So you can see that one right there. And we're going to click on that and tell it that's the tool that we're using. And we're going to leave all the feeds and speeds the way that they are. Um, you can see your geometry again. Uh, we're going to change one thing on the passes. Uh, we're going to change this to do it in multiple depths. And so we're going to change the roughing step down to one millimeter. So this is the maximum depth that 
the machine will cut with each pass. And then once you click OK, it's going to go ahead and generate the toolpath, which is really neat. Um, takes a second to do. And uh, then what we can do is right click on that and go to simulate. And you get a different menu down the bottom here. And we can actually simulate the process. And it kind of speeds through it. Um, it'll give you statistics and tell you how long it estimates it will take. Um, and this is what it'll look like when it cuts. And the final step in order to get this code out is we need to do what we call a post process. And the post process um, generates the machine specific code. So we want to make sure that UCCNC is selected. Just hit OK. And we're going to save this file. This is a .nc file. This is the type file of, that the uh, machine will use. And that will uh, wrap up our uh, StepCraft tutorial for creating a very simple uh, CNC milled um, plate. And uh, so this wraps up our tutorial of a very simple CNC milled uh, plate.